This is the cross on which hung the Saviour of the world. Come, let us worship. On the cross, Jesus offered himself to the Father for the whole world. At the foot of the cross, we join our prayers with his. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by the virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Almighty Father, look with mercy on your family around the world, for which your Son was content to be betrayed and given up into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross. He who is alive and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen.
The cross is foretold. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried out our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is betrayed. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray took Peter, James and John along with him and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back again, he found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go, here comes my betrayer. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the 12 appeared with him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Jesus, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you teaching in the temple courts and you did not arrest me, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then everyone deserted him and fled. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver. Be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. 
To you, Jesus, who offered your face to your betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
Jesus is tried before the high priest. Jesus was led off under arrest to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest, where the lawyers and elders were assembled. Peter followed him at a distance till he came to the high priest's courtyard. And going in, he sat down there amongst the attendants, meaning to see the end of it all. The chief priests and the whole council tried to find some allegation against Jesus on which a death sentence could be passed. But they failed to find one, though many came forward with false evidence. Finally, two men alleged that he had said, I can pull down the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. At this, the high priest rose and said to them, have you no answer to the charge that these witnesses bring against you? But Jesus kept silence. The high priest then said, By the living God I charge you to tell us, Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, The words are yours. But I tell you this, from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of God and coming on the clouds of heaven. At these words, the high priest tore his robes and exclaimed, blasphemy, need we call further witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What are your opinions? He is guilty, they answered. He should die. Then they spat in his face and struck him with their fists. And others said, as they beat him, Now, nah, Messiah, if you are a prophet, tell us who hit you. Lord Jesus, as Peter betrayed you, you experienced the double agony of love rejected and friendship denied. Be with those who know no friends and are rejected by society. You understood the fear within Peter. Help us to understand the anxieties of those who fear for their future. To you, Jesus, who gazed with sadness at his lost friend, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.
Jesus is tried before Pilate. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave no answer, not even a single charge so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realised that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. Lord Jesus, you faced the torment of barbaric punishment and mocking tongue. Be with those who cry out in physical agony and emotional distress. You endured unbearable abuse. Be with those who face torture and mockery in our world today. To you, Jesus, the King crowned with thorns, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
Jesus is crucified. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided his clothes by casting lots, and sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said. But he can't save himself. He's the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insult on him. Lord Jesus, you bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. Transform through the mystery of your love the pain of those who suffer. To you, Jesus, our crucified Lord, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
the death of Jesus. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama, sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion, who stood there in front of Jesus, saw how he died, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. Lord Jesus, when you died on the cross, you entered the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who die at the hands of others. In death, you entered into the darkest place of all. Illuminate our darkness with your glorious presence. To you, Jesus, whose lifeless body hung on the tree of shame, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you the truth, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am my servant also will be. My father will honour the one who serves me. Now my heart is troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus said, This voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. But I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
May we feel no bitter hatred when we too are persecuted, left alone to walk with you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you redeemed the world. For those who suffer in whatever form, may their way of the cross bring them to glory with you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you redeemed the world. For all the faithful departed who rest on another shore, that sharing the cross of Christ, they may also share his victory over death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you redeem the world. Now the cross, as Jesus bore it, has become for us who share it the cross of victory. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you redeemed the world. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we stand at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and us, now and at the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, rest to the faithful departed, to your holy church, peace and concord and to us sinners, forgiveness and everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit you are alive, and reign God now and forever. Amen. May the Father who so loved the world that he gave his only Son to suffer death upon the cross Bring us by faith to his eternal life. Amen. May Christ, who accepted the cup of sacrifice in obedience to the Father's will, keep us steadfast as we walk with him the way of his cross. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us when we suffer with Christ, that we may share his glory. Set our minds on life and peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. 
Amen.